And the final regular season Thursday night football game with the All-American Alkies taking on the Robot Masters. And I am your host, The Raj. And I, I am unfortunately calling this game alone tonight. Uh, the big reason is because Ryan Anderson heroically had to take the life of Al Bundy earlier in the week when Al tried to assault a young four-year-old child on the field. Uh, luckily, Ryan Anderson was able to shoot Al Bundy dead with his high-power rifle. Uh, but the mental trauma of taking a lo the life of a beautiful animal like Al Bundy, is, it's, Ryan's a very sensitive guy. And, you know, I understand. Take as much time as you need, Ryan. We love you. We miss you. Oh, and Sergey Smirnoff with a big sack there. All-American Alkies coming into this matchup, 8-7. and seven. They're currently third in the division. What a pass there. Oh, Copy Robot getting into the quick man on the 45. If, oh, he didn't make the 50 there, but got the first down. Alkies looking for a victory here to hopefully get them in playoff contention. They need some luck here. They need a victory, a Greek Legends loss, and a, a, a big loss at that. Oh, but that'll help there with Rico getting the interception. Hut, 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 hut. Jim Bean with the direct snap. He's running up. Gets a few yards. Second and nine. Robot Masters, they've had a tough season. They're at the bottom of their division. Wiley's really screwed them up. Hopefully next year they can get some guidance. I, uh, I mean, maybe they're fated for the junk pile. May maybe Austin uh, Camacho will revisit his game plan. Oh, but there's a beautiful game plan as Captain Morgan's connected to with Jim Bean's nice pass. Oh, Dodged that defender and was able to pick up the big touchdown. A great combo all season has been Captain Morgan and Jim Bean, and that connection right there proves why. You know, the Robot Masters could beat the All-American Alcoholics here tonight. That would give them some good street cred going in at least next season. You know, if you, if you can't get to the playoffs, ruining someone else's chances is always uh, an enjoyment. Uh, I, I, at least if I was an owner, I would get enjoyment out of that. Oh, a charge man for Travis the condom. Choo choo. Chug along there. Uh, he's been a great player this season, too. Robot Masters haven't been bad. It's just. Look at that oil man slipping through. Slipping and sliding. Can he get past the defender? Nope. He's going to be caught right around the 10 yard line. Probably 11. Robot Masters in the red zone here. Man in motion. Copy Robot back. He slings one. Oh, but the Alki defenders are able to jump up and double stack that pass. Second and ten. Copy Robot looking around. Oh, he tried to get it to the Charge Man, but Charge Man was out of bounds there. Uh, he was just out of position. Off the tracks, if you will. Uh, 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 uh. Copy Robot back. He's got a man open in the middle of the field under pressure. Gets it right to the Blizzard Man for the touchdown. Blizzard Man has skis and a little snow cap. Uh, just, just so you know, uh, he's a puss as far as I'm concerned. But he was one of two robot masters that was actually made by American children. They had a contest in Nintendo Power. And if I remember correctly, Blizzard Man was one of the chosen ones. So, And he was the chosen one tonight because he scored for the robot masters. Jack Daniels returning the ball here. Ugh. That was a vicious tackle. 11 seconds left here in the first quarter. Jim Bean gives it to Walker, who with the run around gets it to the captain. Ah, uh, but he can't make it happen. Captain Morgan, a hell of a player. 2014 Mad Offensive MVP. He has been a great utilitarian player. He's made the playoffs twice. Oh, I'm just sorry, a Pro Bowl. He's made the Pro Bowl twice. He's made the playoffs multiple times, twice, right? Uh, I believe so. So, heck of a force here. He got the touchdown earlier with Jim Beam. Jim's got a man open in the middle. Jack Daniels, oh! Always strong, always able to get that first down. Jim Beam loves to sling that ball. This is a passing team. Fake handoff here. Oh, gets it to a short pass to Jack Daniels, who I oh, was not able to get the first down. Now we go into second and one. Alki's knocking on the red zone door. 
Walker hands it back to Morgan. Morgan with the run around. Oh, but the robot, oh, he got around that robot master. I was gonna say that defender was able to get in there quite quick. We gotta remember the robot masters, they are a pretty good defense. But they're gonna need to show something here with the pass. Oh my gosh, in coverage. There was double coverage there, but Sailor Jerry was able to pull it in. He had two defenders there, but Jim Bean slung it perfectly. What a passer. He is one of the great TFO legend. One day, Jim Bean will be idolized in bronze because he's that good, people. 14 to 7 here with three minutes left in the second quarter. Charge man, can he chug along? Oh, he dodges a defender. He's kind of slow, but he's a big guy, man. He, he, he can get down the field. He has a lot of steam. Copy robot looking around. Pitches it to the charge man, but he just doesn't look the same here in the second quarter. I hope he's not getting an injury or anything. Second and 13. Oil man's got the ball. He's slipping. He's sliding. Oh, the defender there was able to help him out. He's on to almost the 25-yard line before he was brought down. Now we're under two minutes. We're looking at what? First and 10 on the 27-yard line. Pitches it down to the charge man again, who's past the 20. Almost to the 10, another first down. Now the Robot Masters will take their first time out as they contemplate what they're going to do here on first and 10. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. They give it to the oil man who gets caught up on his own defender. Oh, second and ten, no gain there for Oil Man. You need to run around, not through. Gives it back to the Oil Man who goes up this time. Gets the first, gets the touchdown, has the points on the board. Wildly, Oil Man has been a shine spot here on a usually lackluster Robot Masters. So, you know, maybe it's because Oil Man is one of Wiley's creations. You know what I mean? A lot of these robots, Wiley didn't create, really. You know what I'm saying? He, he modified them. And maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe maybe they need to bring Dr. Light back next season. Uh, maybe they need to uh, bring in uh, more bounty hunters. You know, who knows? Uh, Austin Adam Camacho owned the Midgar Meteors his first season. So maybe he will look to another video game franchise. Oh, Sailor Jerry with an impressive catch. Look at the speed of Sailor Jerry past the 50, 40. Oh, oh, he fumbles it. Oh, my God. Robot Masters pick it up as Shadow Man ninja himself past the 50. But we go into the half. Worst part is that since he fumbled the ball there, none of the yards will count for him. So fantasy players weep. There's the good-looking chick in her panties. And then we're going to get a wink. Oh, yeah, double wink. Closed-eyed kissed. Yeah. All right, third quarter. Five minutes in this quarter, five minutes in the next quarter. Jack Daniels bringing it out. Yeah, about 30-yard line. Not bad. It's going to be a good drive here for the All-American Alkies. They've had great success in the air here today. Oh, man, Jack. Jim Bean launching it way further than he needed to. That's your Thursday night overthrow. Brought to you by Meanies, because fuck Chris McLeese. And Jim Bean, oh, it's got Morgan open again, but man, Jim Bean looks drunk as hell out there, and not in a good way. He's getting sloppy, folks. He threw it right into the stands with an open Captain Morgan. Just get the ball to a receiver, Jesus. Oh, and then he's sacked in the back by the Spark Man. Mega Man 3 represent as the Alkies have to punt. What a punt it is as the town drunk boots that sucker. This game's all tied up 14-14. Getting the ball back to the Robot Masters is only good for the Robot Masters. Wiley is cackling on the sidelines. You know, usually he, he enjoys the pain that the Robot Masters are, have inflicted against him. So maybe he's turning a new leaf. Maybe he has uh, made some modifications here to the Robot Masters to hopefully get them some victories going into the end of the season. And Oil Man slips by for that first down. Move those chains. keep And keep a hold of the ball, man. We don't want to see what happened to like the Alkies there at the end of the second. 
Oh, it throws it to the quick man who's open. Oh, but man, that defender got up there quick. On quick man. <laughs> How, isn't it ironic? Copy robot. He's got a guy open in the middle. Instead passes down to the magnet man. Oh, brings it in with the magnet tracker. He's not very good after the catch, but the before is always spectacular with the magnet man. Copy robot weighing his options. Trying to get it to the magnet man again. Ooh. But just defender was there able to bat it out of his hands. Out of his magnets. Whatever. Second and ten. They're going to try a fake run. Throwing it to the quick man up top. Quick man's open this time, but down at two yard line. Bringing first and two up. Minute three remaining here in the third. They're going to hand it to the jack. Oh, no, the oil. Sorry, oil man. I'm thinking the wrong team here. Maybe he took a few shots of Jack Daniels and slipped in there. Sometimes Jack Daniels is good as oil, right? Oil Man representing from the original Mega Man, not the NES, but the, the I think he started with the PSP remake. Because Mega Man 1 only had six bosses, so when they remade it, they went ahead and added two more bosses, and Oil Man was one of those. More you know, kids. More you know. Alki's here, down by seven here. Less than a minute remaining in the third. Wow, how Captain Morgan brought that in is beyond me. That was a horrible pass. Oh my god! What travesty. See, he he risked limb injury for that pass. That, oh my gosh, that uh, great season by Captain Morgan. Uh, definitely a Pro Bowl contender. Just sad to see him go out here with, with another quarter still left in the season. Jim Bean just not able to get it to anybody. He's not looking like himself here this third quarter. They really need to get to the end of the quarter and see if they can get him on the sidelines and get him refreshed. Oh, he got it to Jack Daniels, though, on the 10. And he's brought down for the first down. So now, yeah, we go into the fourth. Alki's down by seven. They're on the six-yard line. Jim Bean looking at his options. Gets it down to the Crown Royal, but... He's covered. Second and six. Red zone territory. Six yards out. A pass again. He's got Jerry open for the touchdown. You know, it kind of sucks there when, when you're so close to the end zone with a passing team because they like to pass it there. But there's a great playbook selection by the All-American Alcoholics because they they know that they're going to be in a red zone territory at some point. So that pass allows Sailor Jerry to curl in there and now, now we're all tied up. Charge man. Getting the ball at the 20, which is nice. Dodges a defender. Oh, man. If he could have just broke free there for a second, I think those other defenders would have came up there and robot mastered those alcoholics. Give it to the oil man. He's running it. This is a good strategy. You know, you got four minutes. Try to waste as much time as you can. You're almost in field goal range. You don't want to give the Alkies the ball back too soon. Nice first down, nice catch, but it was a little risky. Throwing it in coverage there isn't the smartest thing for the Robot Masters. Oh, and there's the rush. Second and 14. Copy Robot, fake handoff. He's got a few uh, options there, gets it to the Magnet Man. Oh, fumbles the ball. Alki's recover with the Maker. Wow. That is not good for... What was I just talking about? Holding on to the ball. That's one of the most important things. Jim Bean now carrying. He's got the first. Oh, I thought he had the first. Interesting that he did not have the first, as far as I'm concerned. Second one. Gets it to Walker. Now to hand off to, to the Tickle, who, who came in when poor Captain Morgan was injured. Which brings up third and seven. And they're going to try to get it to the Tickle again, aren't they? Wow, they rushed in Tickle. Oh, trying to get away. Now the Alkies are going to have to punt. Man, the Alkies do not look like they're in a good condition. Jim Bean just looks sloppy out there. Captain Morgan's injured. Can the Robot Masters pull up this big upset here on the final Thursday night football of the 2016 season? Well, we have under two minutes to find out. Charge man dodging defenders. Man, he has just been stellar all game. Gets it to the 40. Minute 21 left. Copy Robot takes it back, surveys the options. 
Oh, he gets it up to the oil man, but oil man is getting held back there. Loss of three. Robot Masters take their first time out with a minute remaining on the clock. Robot Master. Copy Robot back. Throwing it to the Magnet Man who, oh, just out of his reach. 44 seconds left. Third and 13. Copy Robot. Throwing it up. Oh, hits the Quick Man in stride. The Alkies are able to pull him down, but the Masters are calling a quick timeout. And they are running their field goal kicker out on the field. Looks like about a 35-yard field goal here for Needle Man. Can he thread the needle? It's up. It's good. Wow. What hustle by the Robot Masters there in the final two minutes of the game. Leaving only 16 seconds left for the kickoff here. Jack Daniels is going to have to return a touchdown. That's not happening. And the Robot Masters pull off the victory. 21 24, essentially knocking the Alkies out of the playoff picture entirely, and at least getting a little redemption on a season that's been murky at best for the Masters. What a game. Copy Robot threw an interception. Jim Bean threw about the same yards Copy Robot did. Captain Morgan going down is what was really big. The Robot Masters held the run. Captain Morgan was the best runner on the day, two for 13 yards, only 25 rushing yards by the Alkies. And the Alkies could not hold the Robot Masters running game, which was able to get over 100 on the day. And so you add that all up, and it's almost a 300-yard game for the Al for the Robot Masters. But the Alkies barely have a 200, and they only they had four first downs less. So Captain Morgan, I, I just feel bad for him. Like I said, he's he's definitely in a Pro Bowl conversation. We'll find out at the end of this week if he's able to make it back and make it in there. Uh, but, I mean, he could add another quarter at least. And I think that could have turned around for the Alkies. That last drive they had where they had Mr. Tickle. And Mr. Tickle sucks. And so they sucked there, and that's what happened. And Unfortunate. But that's the life of TFO. And that's it for Thursday Night Football for the season of Odin 2016. You know, this, this is the Raj for Ryan Anderson, who is mentally scarred and traumaed by shooting the beautiful animal Al Bundy after he attacked a poor boy earlier in the week we're, we're thinking of you ryan and we'll see you next tecmo